Okay guys, we're doing it. This is how to care for your string of pearls. First, let's talk about lighting. The assumption that string of pearls need high direct light all day long is actually really untrue. These guys actually thrive in bright indirect light. Mine hangs out in my window all day long and because of my building, this is as bright as it gets. And with regards to lighting, you wanna make sure that that indirect light is hitting the top of the plant. I personally think watering is where people go wrong with this plant. It's been several months since I've actually watered this one and it is pushing out new growth like crazy right now. It's about quickly they can develop root rot, they actually bounce back easier when underwatered. When you're new, don't be afraid to let the pearls get a little bit puckered or sad looking before you water them, and I personally bottom water. That'll give you a better idea of how often you need to be watering it. Good luck! Top reasons why your string of pearls die. Reason 1. They are watered too frequently. Water your string of pearls after the soil fully dries out. Use a chopstick to check the soil. Stick it all the way down, and if it comes out fully dry with no soil attached, it's time to water. Reason number two, they don't get enough light. They need bright indirect light, ideally with a few hours of direct sun. I keep mine in an east facing window and it gets several hours of direct sun. Reason number three, the potting mix isn't well draining. Use a succulent or a cacti mix, or use any mix for tropical plants and add some perlite and bark. Reason number four, you are using a water retaining pot. Glazed ceramic pots like this one, or plastic pots, they retain moisture inside the soil. Terracotta pots absorb moisture, so the soil dries out faster. If you don't get enough light, or your potting mix isn't well draining, or you tend to over water, get a terracotta pot. Apply these tips and your string of pearls will thrive, and in time will be as beautiful as mine. Let's grow a thriving string of pearls. I've killed a few of these myself and grew this one entirely from a tiny cutting. The trick is to grow them in a shallow pot with great drainage like this bonsai pot. If you find the pearls bursting, it's overwatering. If they're shriveling, it's underwatering. If you want to grow a string of pearls, listen up. Hang your pearls low enough so where it can see a wide view of the sky. Next, grab your chopsticks and probe the soil. Make sure it dries out 100% between thorough waterings. Make sure it's planted in cactus soil and has adequate drainage. Guys, so I know a lot of people wanted to know more about my string of pearls, so I thought I'll tell you a little bit about her. So I've had this plant for almost a year now, and as you can see, it's super healthy. Number one tip is to leave the plant alone. Like, genuinely leave the plant alone, and it will thrive. It's not meant to be messed with or repotted a lot or watered a lot. It's literally just meant to survive on its own. That's why it stores its water in the pearls. Um, mine has, like, you know, good-sized pearls. Some of them are smaller because the soil that I do keep it in is really really well draining so it has a hard time locking in moisture i water it once every two weeks because of the soil that i have it in so really figure out what kind of soil you have it in that's going to tell you how often you need to water it only water it when the pearls shrivel up and they look like peas if the pearls do not look like that i will not water it i will not mess with it and that's all welcome back to plant talk how the hell do you keep these alive don't overthink it Native to Southwest Africa, these plants in the wild are actually ground cover plants. So they love being dry. They love lots of bright and direct light. And if their grow points get the chance to be by a potting medium, they'll grow new roots. Make sure you have lots of light. Only water them when they've shriveled. And watch them grow. You might even get them to flower. Hope that helped. Cut stems from the parent plant, leaving about three to five pearls per string. Set aside to two, three days to callus. Fill pot with a cacti succulent soil mix. Place cuttings on top of soil. Spray every two to three days when soil is dry and place in a well-lit area. That is not how you water a string of pearls. Strings of pearls are pretty delicate, so they prefer to be bottom watered. But you're right when you say the amount of water doesn't matter. What really matters is how wet the soil is. Talk about my love-hate relationship with string of pearls. So I have over 150 plants and getting close to 200 now, but just so you know, I'm not a noob, but I managed to kill every string of pearls I own, including a variegated version. I'm on number seven and eight right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. Why am I even trying? But anyway, I finally figured it out. So before I would let my plant dry out because it is a succulent, you're not supposed to water it often. What I let it dry out and then I'd water it, but no, it'll die two days later. Trust me. 
you literally wait. You wait another week. You think about watering and you don't. You wait another week. Um, a good idea is to look at its little round balls. I mean, look at it. It's pretty healthy. It does not need water, even if the soil is like really dry. So here's a little piece that was kind of in there, unrooted, it's fallen off. You see how it looks shriveled? This needs to be watered. This does not. Spring of Pearl's care tips. If my plant feels pretty light and the soil is completely dried out, I'll go ahead and bottom water. By bottom watering, this allows the soil to become evenly saturated. It's good because the roots are tiny. As for lighting, I use this handy little app on my phone to figure out which window it needs to go into. I keep mine in a south facing window, making sure all the pearls get sunlight. If you want your string of whatevers to thrive and grow super long, then just listen to these couple tips that I have for you. Considering our different environments, I can't really tell you the exact care for a string of pearls due to the different environments. But what I can say is if it's still in the plastic nursery pot, this is your sign to change it to terracotta. Your string of whatevers are considered succulents, so they need to be in a porous container and neglect them. And if your plant is hanging, make sure the sunlight is able to hit the top of the soil. This is really important. I hope this helped. How you can take care of string of pearls. This one is full flowering and growing, which is pretty much everything you'd want. They need a lot of light. Make sure all of the pearls are getting light, not just the ones on the side. I would recommend bottom watering it. They're succulents, so they don't like water on their leaves. And don't water until they look pruny. If it looks straggly, try propagating it or just coiling it around the top. They don't need humidity, they don't like a lot of direct light, and they do like warmth. Those are the basics. Let me know if you have questions. My string of pearls are in full sun with a blind cover in the top bit just to give it slight protection from burning. You can pretty much take a cutting from anywhere along the strands. Separate your strands into single strands and then you can take off quite a few pearls to give yourself a bit of room. Then pop your strands in some water and light and in a few days to a week you'll have some roots. Pot up into teeny pots with normal compost and there you go.